Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for ID People. I'm here at ID World in Rio de Janeiro and I'm joined by Ricardo Pina. Ricardo, thank you very much for thank joining you. Thank me. Thank you to you. You're going to be speaking later on today on the topic of uh, using the cloud um, for biometric data. Yeah, well, the, 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 the idea is um, it's new. I mean, it's a tendency of the market. Originally, the um, um, biometric capture used to be ink plus, you know, uh, paper and after that with the technology uh, scanners were available for enrollment with uh, better quality um, and now what is uh, the tendency of the market is using uh, the cloud you know user you only need a um, browser and on a scanner and you can enroll the person um, with this technology Okay. I guess one of the things that people are nervous with when their data is in the cloud is obviously, is it secure? Can people get into it? Are there systems available that make it sufficiently secure? Yes, yes. Um, the banking industry is using more. Of course, um, security agents all over the world are mm -hmm. using because today with the uh, internet are much uh, safer than used to be. You can use a secure socket layer to communicate. Uh, you can encrypt the information. And of course, um, if you don't store information locally in a workstation, it is much, uh, much safer. Because, right. yeah, the, you, you avoid thief of information yeah. or crashes. Yeah, and risk of damage, I guess, yeah. because in the cloud it's mirrored in multiple locations. Yeah, of course, in multiple and, locations. and of course, um, it is cheaper, because you don't need to maintain uh, all the workstation uh, all over of different mm. offices. Just yeah. you, you centralize from the server side, and you can maintain all the workstations the way, uh, centralized way. Okay, and tell me about cross-match technology. Do they, are they uh, do they are they a systems provider or are you hardware, software, middleware? Well, uh, cross-match technology is a leader in um, um, uh, biometric industry. We we have the bigger market share in the market, and uh, okay, of course, uh, we provide uh, scanners, mm -hmm. and we also provide solutions. Okay, as, you know. Um, um, for for software and for enrollment yeah. for um, you know the um, uh, web enrollment now is, is what what we are uh, promotioning okay and of course all type of scanner scanner for civil ID for criminal okay um, we have a uh, palm scanners we have scanners for iris mm. so okay we a have a package. set yeah. Yeah, and, and you're responsible for the Caribbean and Latin America regions. How advanced are those regions in terms of using using cloud computing and using that, that, that kind of big data technology? Well, in, in fact, this is something new, the cloud um, solution. Um, and we are promoting, uh, we're starting in U.S. market. Um, we have uh, several uh, secur security agencies that... Mm -hmm. Are, are interested in this new technology and uh, we see that the development of internet in the region uh, makes uh, the, the right moment to start uh, w uh, working on this solution for, for color region. Yeah, and we, we heard um, Suvi Linden, for example, this morning talking about broadband, broadband as a as a kind of a human right and a requirement for these developing nations. Do you think that's something governments are really taking seriously? And because that's an, uh, uh, an enabler for your solution, I guess. Yes, of course. No, we, we, we see that the, the, um, uh, all governments are, are realizing in the region uh, the, the use of the, this technology. I mean, this mm. is uh, it's profit. I mean, it's uh, it's development a lot yeah. in the region. Yeah. So that's why we are prom promoting this kind yep. of solution. solution at the moment. Fantastic. Well, Ricardo, all the best for your presentation. Thank you very much for no, stopping by. No, thank you. Chat. Thank you to you for pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you very much.